Blue Eddy AC200P, AC200L. Is this still the best solar generator for under $1,500? In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you an update on the new Blue Eddy AC200L and covering all the major upgrades to this market-leading solar generator. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Blue Eddy AC200P and the upgraded new version, the AC200L. Now, a couple of years ago, Blue Eddy sent me an AC200P to test out and review. And at the time, I called it the best solar generator available for under $1,500. Now, the price is even below $1,000 in some places today. But it's a really solid unit for those of you who are looking at a way that you can get some solar and battery storage capability at an affordable price um, and where it can be used in a portable fashion, something you can grab and go, whether it's for camping, hiking, uh, or if, if you need to make use of it for emergency backup purposes. Now, this class of unit, the, the 200P, the 200L, gives you roughly 2,000 watts, or in the case of the 200L, slightly over 2,000 watts of output power, which means that anything that plugs into a standard 120 volt wall outlet, you can run off this unit here, whether you're talking microwave, refrigerator, toaster, you know, anything that plugs into a standard wall outlet, you can run it off the AC200P or the AC200L. But they've made a number of enhancements and improvements on the new AC200L. So let me run down quickly for you what those upgrades are. Okay, so the first thing we touched on is the power output. Whereas the 200P had a 2000 watt power output, the 200L has a 2400 watt power output limit. So about 20% more power output here. Now there's been a big upgrade with the storage capacity. Whereas the original unit was limited to the two kilowatt hours internal storage, the new model, the 200L, can go up to 8.2 kilowatt hours of storage if you use two of the B300 battery module upgrades. So you have the unit itself, which is the inverter and the, the in internal battery, but you can add up to two external batteries as well for up to 8.2 kilowatt hours of storage. Now the new unit, the AC200L, also accepts more solar power input. And so you'll see we've gone from 700 watts max solar input for the AC200P, now up to 1200 watts solar input for the AC200L. So allows you to charge the battery faster. And then also they've increased the AC charge rate. Whereas with the old unit, you could do 500 watts of AC power input. With the new unit, you can do up to 2400 watts of AC power input, which means you can go from a completely empty battery up to 80% state of charge in only 45 minutes. Now, we're gonna take the units out and I'm gonna do some basic load testing. Again, anything that plugs into a standard wall outlet these units are gonna be able to power. So don't expect there to be anything exciting as far as load test, but I just wanna give you a feel for how the unit operates, uh, whatever upgrades they may have done to the display and the user interface, so you can get a feel for what it would look like to use this solar generator. All right, let's go out to the field. All right, so we're out here in the field with the new AC200L. You can actually see the AC200P is here in the background. So in terms of form factor, they're almost identical in terms of size and shape. Although I did notice one thing right out, out of the gate, which is that the old AC200P has wireless charging spots for your cell phone on the top. The 200L does not appear to have those as well. So I'm not really getting anything here on my cell phone. Uh, but you can see basic layout is the same. So out of the box, the unit came with a 56% state of charge on the battery. One of the things we're gonna do here to exercise is to connect some solar panels. I've got the Blue Eddy portable solar panel kit deployed here in the field. So we're gonna charge a little bit and then I'm gonna run a couple of load tests to see how the unit holds up under load. So right now we've got our solar panel deployed. It's kind of an overcast day here today in Myrtle Beach, but as you can see on the display, we have about 57 watts of solar coming into the unit here. Now the AC200L will take solar input as low as 12 volts all the way up to 145 volts. Now for our load test, I grabbed a couple of household items that had heating elements because I want to put a good amount of load on the unit here. So the first we're going to try here is a standard clothes iron. And now as you can see, once the heating element activated on the clothes iron, we have a draw of almost 1200 watts. Okay, now let's add the steamer. And now you can see with the addition of the steamer, the load briefly spiked up to about 2,400 watts and now has leveled off at right around 1,325 watts. 
Now again, folks, anything that has a heating element is gonna be a heavier draw item than if you're talking about low voltage electronics like cell phones, cameras, and laptops. It looks like my steamer's up to speed here as well. Yeah. And there we go. Now again, folks, no, no surprise here. With 2,400 watts of load capacity, anything you can plug into a standard wall outlet, you can run on the AC200L. So in conclusion, I think Blue Eddy has done a great job as far as building on what they had already had with an excellent product with the AC200P. The new AC200L gives you expandable storage capacity, higher sustained power output, a faster solar charge rate, and a much, much faster AC rapid charge rate. All right, so this has been a walkthrough of the new AC200L. Uh, again, I think you're gonna find this an excellent solution for somebody that maybe you're not ready to take the, the step to get a full house solar and battery backup system, but you want some capability that you can use for whether it's mobile applications, hiking, RVing, um, or for light home backup. Remember, you can run any appliance that plugs into a standard wall outlet you can run on the unit here. And in our load test, we were actually able to run two large heating element uh, devices, the, the clothes iron, as well as the steamer, simultaneously without overloading the unit. Now, of course, it's got a large lithium iron phosphate battery, two kilowatt hours of internal storage with up to six additional kilowatt hours that can be added using the external B300 battery modules. Uh, of course, this is the lithium iron phosphate chemistry. And again, this unit offers rapid charge up to 2,400 watts of AC input charge rate, as well as 2,400 watts continuous AC output. Now folks, be sure to check the description below so you can grab the Solar Surge discount code if you'd like to be able to purchase the new Blue Eddy AC200L from the website below. So folks, this has been a presentation of the upgrades from the Blue Eddy AC200P to the new AC200L. Uh, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button uh, and also hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with us. Uh, of course, if you're in the process of looking at different solar or battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to talk to a solar expert, uh, or if you just like to use our free online quote tool, as always, you can reach out to us on the link below where we have options available for portable solar generators and also for whole house solar and battery storage systems. Well, that does it for today's presentation. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.